Mike, the day you were introduced, there was a lot of talk about creating and building the Titan way. Uh, with the success uh, and, and steps taken over these last three seasons up to now, what's, how, what's the big challenge or what, how big is the challenge of taking those next steps uh, to earn more championships? Well, I think the longer that you do, I mean, it's about sustained, consistent success. And it's about trying to build a culture of winning and competitiveness. Uh, and then, you know, you have to, this is when you have to play your best. This is when it matters. Uh, there's no, there's no do-overs. There's no, hey, let's come back next week and, and get them, you know. So that's the approach that we're taking. You know, we're trying to, to use this time wisely and, and get everybody what they need and, and focus on, you know, the things that we know are important. What is at stake? And, and obviously you don't get any do-overs. How do you get guys, how can you get, is there a challenge to get guys to play fast? not be too nervous out there where it kind of slows them down? Yeah, I think that uh, just making sure that, you know, you're preparing and, you know, we've played in a lot of big games and, you know, hopefully they, they you can settle in whenever that is and, and go play. And that's what it comes down to. And you know, I think that that's a great point. At the end of the day, we're, we're going to give them a, a game plan in all three phases and, and they have to go out and, and execute. And, and make plays, and we have to give them answers. You know, if things are showing up uh, in the game that maybe you know, the other team had, had done uh, differently, and I think that we try to do that anyways. It's just that, you know, you don't want to just start making things up, you know, Jim, just because you're in the playoffs. It's not like, hey, let's start to, to try this. We have to, you know, be who we are, do what we do, things that we believe in that we know are important. A lot of you guys had a, have had a lot of success coming off by weeks and extended time off since you've been the coach here. How much of that is in your philosophy of coaching was built off of what you learned in, as a player coming off those type of situations? Um, not not really. I mean, I think you try to reference some things. I just try to focus on, you know, how much time do we have? Uh, what do we need to do? What does each player need to do? Try to have a plan for each guy you know, based on health or based on how much they've played and, and based on things that I think that we need to do. Um, you know, and it changes. You know, it changes based on when you have the bye or, you know, this particular week coming coming ever after 17 games. Your career is certainly stamped by what you did in the postseason. How much do you think guys' careers are, are defined to a degree by what they do in the postseason, quarterbacks specifically? Well, quarterbacks, I think that that's always been the argument. That's been something that... You know, I think everybody wants to define themselves as a champion, and I think, um, you know, certainly quarterbacks. You know, you look at numbers, and and it, I don't, I'm not into the debating, you know, because I'm that's not my job. Um, but you have to to be able to to execute. You're going to have to be able to come up with clutch plays on um, both sides of the football. You're going to have to make a, a critical kick uh, it, to help you win and move on in the playoffs. On, like you mentioned the other day, kind of challenging each guy with one thing to sort of improve on it and work on. How's that gone? Have you kind of done that more yourself, or you leave that to position coaches, or, or how does that? It, it's a group effort, you know. And I would like to, you know, I had them ask the players, you know, I had the players think about what their response to that question would be, because I think any time that uh, you know you're dealing with somebody else and there's uh, you know something that you're asking them to do, um, you, you hope that that what they had in mind was similar to what you had in mind so that there's not a whole big disconnect. And then you have to spend a bunch of time trying to close the gap about what they perceive or what they think and about what the, the coaches think. So that it's going well, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that today. We'll do it Sunday. You know I mean? We'll continue, you know, throughout our, our preparation. And, um, but that was a group effort. You know I mean? That's my input with the coaches input, you know, and then them, you know, sharing it with the players and then going out here today and trying to work on it. You see some of those franchises that aren't successful, that structure <clears throat> organization-wise isn't there, like from top to bottom. But it's something that you, John Robinson, everyone seems to have. What has been kind of like the key to really just developing that consistency, that culture, to where everybody all the way down to the ball guys ha have the same mindset? Well, I think first, you know, Amy lets us, um, you know, do our job, which I know that, you know, I, I respect and I appreciate, I value. Um, she allows John and I to do do our, our jobs, you know, here to to manage the, the football team, 
the decisions you know that we that we make I mean she has a, a lot of input obviously but she allows us to you know do our jobs which I can't thank her enough for um, and then it's, it's just about hiring guys and, and people uh, that that you trust that believe in the same things that you believe in that are willing to teach uh, the players to, to give them ways to improve and give them things to help them and you know, I think the consistency, you know, it has, consistency is great when it, when, it, when it works, you know. And so, you know, we just, you know, the big thing about this is you never want to sleep on this game. You never want to feel like you've arrived. Uh, you never want to feel like you, you have all the answers. She's already asked one already. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got one from somebody who's not here today. That's so. okay, yeah, let her in. <laughs> Tom Brady has uh, said that uh, the, the challenge of the bye week is that it can be very humbling. You go from celebrating to suddenly trying to pick apart what you have to improve on and fix uh, before the next game. Uh, for you, and you've kind of covered this a couple times, but what are the keys that you've been asking guys to address specifically this week? It's going to be the same consistent message. Just focus on things that, that are important and not interesting. Um, Focus on a few details. Focus on things that we believe and know when uh, football games in this league, taking care of the football, turning it over, uh, situationally being great on third down, being great in a red zone. Um, there's a lot of great examples. Just just go back and, and watch you know a lot of these playoff games and how they're won and lost. With you guys not knowing obviously who you're facing right now, is this week more so you prep today in terms of field stuff and then let them have a little time off, or how are you utilizing the week? Yeah, the play, you know, I mean, they'll be off. Though. I'm sure we'll they'll be in here, you know, guys with treatment, uh, guys, um, you know, the weight room will be open. You know, coaches will work a little bit. Coaches will will have some time off as well, and then you know, get back on Sunday just to you know to to be able to to reset and and kind of do some of the stuff that we. You know we're going to do today. When are they off starting? Uh, tomorrow, Thursday. What is today? The Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, after playing a 17 game season, I mean, and, and the injuries that you had, do you feel like you're in a pretty good place physically, and do guys appear in a good place mentally? Maybe after. The yeah, I think mentally. You know, I think mentally they're they're in a good place. I think that they're um, they're they're focused. They're locked in. Um, but I also think that they are probably looking forward to to a few days off, and uh, you know we'll we'll get them back here on Sunday. We'll we'll focus on today, trying to have a great day, get some conditioning in, some fundamentals, and uh, you know physically, I don't you know I mean I don't think anybody feels great. You know I can't imagine that that Jeff Simmons or Kevin Byard, you know these guys that played Ben Jones, you know, whether they're on the injury report or not, I can't imagine they feel great. Get you it. I mean, the, pro the prize at the end, I guess, is what. Well, I think that that's a great question for them. I don't want to speak for them, but I know that they, those particular players, and a lot of other ones, are, you know, they're going to do whatever they have to do to, to be out there, to be ready, to, to, um, you know, do whatever they have to do to help the team win. A real quick comment on uh, just Ryan getting AFC Offensive Player of the Week, kind of a cool thing for him, headed into the bye week too, but also to the playoffs to have have something like that. Yeah, it's good, very good performance, and, and you know, a lot of stuff that he did helped us win, like just the ability to go down there in the red zone and execute, and you know, the points at the at the end of half ended up being, you know, critical. You know, so keep building on it and uh, keep working on it, and I know that that's what Ryan will do. I'm sure he's, you know appreciative of, of the honor and the recognition, but uh, he, he's going to be back out there today, you know, trying to improve some of the things that, uh, that he needs to work on. Coach, you uh, accomplished your regular season goal in terms of getting this by. You guys mm -hmm. put yourselves in the best position. I know you've, you've talked and preached about how you're just getting started, a lot of work ahead, but did you allow yourself any time, maybe the last day or two, to reflect on, as a head coach, being able to accomplish that first goal? No, as far as the reflection, no, it's just part of the process. And, you know, there's only one team that was going to get the weekend off in the AFC and one in the NFC. Um, it, it would have gone to, you know, a quick turnaround and, and preparing and finding out who we play. Uh, and then, you know, to, to be able to be in a position to, to have the week off, it was, hey, what's the best schedule, you know, for our guys? So not a whole lot of time for reflection. I uh, just want to try to continue um, you know what we've done, which is 
which is play play well down the stretch. You know, obviously well enough to, to win three games in a row and, and put ourselves in this position.